Very good evening my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Uh, just first of all, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the late analysis. Uh, I was facing some problem in my computer. Um, the microphone wasn't working. It took me really some time to find uh, the solution, uh, which was actually buying a new microphone set and uh, actually full uh, headset. Anyway. Uh, let me just uh, tell you something here right now nowadays we are receiving every day a lot of updates and the news about the coronavirus thing uh, COVID-19 now the thing is the market is moving of course based on these updates and the news every single day so the technical analysis that I'm giving you every Saturday is on Sunday it's based on the technical analysis from technical analysis of you only so you don't please uh, how can I say that you cannot really trust, to be honest, you cannot really trust uh, the analysis uh, much more as, be as before due to the high uh, volume of news you are receiving every day regarding COVID-19 virus. Uh, one person might wonder in this case, how come the signals of the premium group is doing a lot better than uh, the weekly analysis? The answer is very simple because when we, are when we are sending the signals on the premium group we are sending them on daily basis so we can see what uh, what was the news happened yesterday so based on that news we are sending the signals we know that the market right now after uh, the bad news about for example um, when Mr. Boris Johnson was diagnosed positive uh, for COVID-19 we knew how the pound will work or how it, uh, we were able to expect how the pound will move and so on so these news actually being uh, affecting the market please please be very very careful and wise when you are entering these trades because the market as i said is moving so much uh, based on these news and less than on technical analysis therefore i'm going to give the te technical analysis right now very carefully and i will aim some short uh, targets <coughs> so starting with the euro usd the euro USD in my opinion now is gonna rise more up and that is of course because we can see that on the left we're having this strong support level which is laying right here and here as well and we can see that the market is right now on this, on this uh, bullish momentum has breaking out from this current resistance right here therefore most likely what will gonna happen is that resistance is gonna be retested again and that support level is gonna keep its position as a support so we are going to witness another rise for the euro usd uh, let me just clear for you something here uh, on the four hour chart uh, what we can see right here is a previous support so i'm expecting from the from the euro usd today monday that the part will the euro usd will actually move a little bit hit this previous support then it's gonna make a pullback and then that support as I said is gonna keep its position as a support not to mention also that it's also facing the nearest resistance right here therefore that is actually gonna be our best shot to start buying the euro USD keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here as I said we don't want to keep that thread, the threads running so far I'm expecting this target to be reached uh, by Tuesday, hopefully, if the market was in high, high volatility. So we can look for almost two, two, 210 pips of profits. Of course, not to mention that you can decide the stop loss. Let me just tell you where we can decide the stop loss. The stop loss actually can be set if the candle is going to break out below this support level. Right here. If you see the candle or the market actually moving below this support and you can see actually a bearish breakout candle most likely the market is going to continue falling down until it hit this previous support level here to create a support number two that most likely is not going to happen because the, the the market right now is moving based on the very horrible news we are receiving from the usa about the highest rate of uh, infected uh, people with the COVID 19 therefore if i'm not mistaken the euro usd is going to continue rising more up and it's going to actually continue the rise right after hitting this previous support so that is your stop loss let me just uh, write for you the levels so we can start buying the euro usd on the level 1.10942 and with the stop loss on 
0.81 and not to mention of course that your take profit level should be right here take profit level on 1.13000 so hopefully this is what will gonna happen and hopefully we are gonna make some really good profit from trading the euro USD let's move right now to the pound USD so what we are seeing on the pound USD is actually not similar to the uh, euro USD if I'm, if I'm not mistaken the pound USD is gonna uh, after this weekend it's gonna make a huge fall therefore on the four hour chart what we can look for is try to sell the pound USD right on this resistance if I'm not mistaken uh, the pound USD right now is on a support level as we can see right here let me change the color actually it's annoying uh, just a second my friends I want something lighter uh, that should be fine okay yeah so we can see that the pound, the pound USD is actually ranging right now on this support level which was of course in the past a previous resistance therefore I believe that the pound USD is gonna continue rising right after hitting this zone here after that it's gonna face that strong uh, resistance right here and gonna continue falling more down now of course the pound USD is moving much more based on the technical uh, sorry based on the uh, updates and the news therefore please again I'm telling you my friends please be extra careful when we are trading the pound USD let me just change the entry level to be right here on this previous resistance right here and right here that actually makes a lot more sense that makes a lot more sense as a good entry so we have to be very careful when we are trading the pound USD so the pound USD is gonna be good for the sell on 1.25816 and the take profit level as I said I don't want to make it very long term trades I want to make it short that's why I'm gonna select the current level to be as my take profit level with almost 160 pips of profit please don't uh, tra keep trade your trades running for a long time it's not really a wise decision especially with this uh, market so 24164 is our take profit for the pound USD and of course our stop loss is gonna be decided once we see the market actually making a bullish breakout candle above that resistance now it's very important to mention something here that the pound as I said moving best to the news therefore there is the highest possibility that the mark the pound USD is actually gonna continue rising all the way until it hit this previous resistance which was also a previous support that is actually more likely what will gonna happen therefore if you want my honest advice um, if you see that let me just tell you something and I didn't do this before that's gonna be your stop loss right here right here so this is the most, uh, the stop loss is on one point Two, um, two six three one four that's your stop loss in case you see any bullish breakout candle out of this level and in case you have closed your trade with the loss you can start selling again at this previous support I know it's a crazy thing to do however I know there are a lot of uh, hardcore traders like me and they are ready to take any opportunity and therefore it's my job to deliver to you all the possibilities on the pair so what I'm suggesting is um, you can start shorting the pound USD with very small lot size right on this level be careful be wise accept a few pips if you can if you can scalp it like 40 50 pips only that would be fantastic and don't try to earn a lot of more pips than uh, in this trade then wait for the pair to see what will gonna happen most likely in my opinion what will gonna happen is the pair gonna continue moving up retesting this previous support that will be actually way much better level to start shorting the pound USD the problem is this trade or this uh, level is way so far from the current price almost 280 pips that's a lot therefore I, I really cannot give this uh, signal uh, with the 280 pips far away however that is again your good your get your good entry and again I will do this which I didn't do before sell option number two sell option number two on the level one point uh, sorry I got confused here 27258 so that's your next signal in case the first one has failed 
let's move right now to the AUD USD. AUD USD, in my opinion, is gonna continue rising more up. As we can see, we're having right here the uh, previous support, and the pair is just continue moving up, it's creating this channel. What's what's gonna happen for the AUD USD, in my opinion, is this channel is gonna continue rising more up, like that. It's gonna keep going on, and what we are seeing right now is the reversal right here from this resistance so the market is actually reversing right now at this level therefore our best entry is gonna be happen when the market retest this broken trend line as we can see we're having here uh, a trend line here a resistance trend line this resistance trend line has been breaking out by this bullish breakout candle and next thing we can expect now is the reversal or the retest for this broken resistance and the, the nearest support we can see is right here Therefore, this support is going to keep its position as a support again. That will be our best entry to start uh, buying the AUD USD. Then we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance. Therefore, let me get rid of all of that. I'm sure it's going to confuse everyone. So that is going to be our tech profit level right here, right on this previous support. After the candle reaching this support level, we don't know what will gonna happen if it's gonna break out or reverse. However, let's just, let's try to get out of the trade with the maximum profits possible. Almost 222 pips of profit. Hopefully, we are gonna get them all. So for the AUDUSD, we can buy on the level 0 0.60771 with a take profit level on 0 0.62979. Now, of course, it's very obvious to find where is the stop loss. Of course, it's going to be lying right below that support level. But careful because that's a lot of pips. We're talking about 75 pips. So uh, it ha you have to be careful. Yes, the market is very tough monkey right now. And we always have to be very wise when we are selecting our uh, entries. I cannot select or I cannot actually uh, uh, find higher level stop loss the stop loss only has to be below the support level right here and I'm really sorry that is the only level I can select as a stop loss usually what I, what I will do in this case if you want my opinion my advice what I will per, what I personally would do I would not enter this trade and I will just wait to see what will gonna happen I will just wait if the candle is gonna actually reach this uh, entry level which I'm gonna going to give right now I will just wait to see what will gonna happen if the market is gonna reverse if I will see any reaction on it maybe there will be a breakout candle maybe it will go more down and if I see the market reaching this level I'm gonna place the buy order you know something uh, since I just want uh, everyone to be safe and I would I don't really want to anyone to lose money f because of me I'm gonna change my entry level to be right on this support level previous resistance here because as we can see we're having here a support attempt and here a previous resistance uh, I'm just adjusting it because I want everyone to be safe so the stop loss is gonna be about 43 pips which is reasonable in my opinion so the buy order is gonna be placed on 0 0.60456 and the stop loss is gonna be decided on the level 0 0.60009 of course not to mention as well that our tech profit level is going to be on the level 0 0.62979 again I'm telling you I'm reminding you my friends I'm expecting from, from the market to actually reverse right here exactly right here to be honest again I'm telling you please pay attention to the candles how they are moving how they are reacting to the level most likely the candle is going to reach this level and then it's actually re really going to be much better level to start buying the euro uh, sorry the U AUD USD let's move right now to the USD CAD USD CAD with no doubt with no doubt actually is going to continue falling more down let's go to the daily hours daily candles daily hours daily candles we can see that pattern right here and right here it's uh, very up um uh, very um, obvious uh, for this short the USD CAD is obviously falling and what I'm expecting right now that we are having on the 4-hour chart here a previous resistance which has happened here later 
uh, support number one the market now seems to be reversing on support number two of course don't uh, i'm not expecting from the market to hold on this support for long time what will gonna happen in my opinion on the opening ad for the market is we are going to witness another pullback so we are having here a resistance number one and we are going to start shorting the usd cad on resistance number two as simple as that so you can start shorting the usd cad on 1.41318 41318 and then our stop loss is not really hard to find we can just find that if the market is gonna actually break out of this resistance with uh, almost 59 pips or almost 60 pips actually so this is our stop loss on 1.41928 most likely I'm going to do the same with the pound USD and I'm going to select for you another entry in case you want to re-enter again the trade uh, with better entry I don't think you can ever have better entry than shorting on this resistance level again I'm doing this because the market as I said is moving in very high volatility nowadays and we always have we should have a plan B therefore that's my plan B for you sell option number two on the level 1.42619 all in all we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous support let me just be sure on daily candles definitely yes let me just even uh, drag it higher than that like that fantastic now go back to the 4 hour chart so that is gonna be our tech profit level either way it's gonna be hopefully a good trade a good deal for the USD CAD 38021 that's your tech profit level so if the market is going to reach this previous support we can look for uh, in first scenario we can look for 324 pips of profit on the other scenario we can look for 460 pips of profit really hope uh, sell option number two is going to work out and please be careful guys please I'm telling you, please be wise and use small lot sizes. The market now is moving crazily, crazily in high volatility. Look at the, I mean, I have never in my whole life seen the USD CAD scary like that because one candle can actually move for 100 pips. Look at that in the four hour chart. One candle is 230 pips. That's insane. I have never seen that before in my life on the USD CAD yes that is very rare to be happening actually therefore uh, please be wise and very be, be very careful when we are trading usdgpy usdgpy um i think it's uh, obvious like a, an open book that the usdgpy is very good for the short right after the pullback as we can see on the four hour chart we are having right here a support number one and right here the market right now is reversing on support number two of course never ever buy the pair most likely is gonna make a small pullback this resistance is very strong it's gonna keep its position the market is gonna continue falling below the support and it's gonna continue going all the way until it hit this support level right here therefore just let me just make it short uh, st uh, short we can start sell the usd gpy on 108.491 and let me just uh, decide the stop loss the stop loss is gonna be if the market is gonna go higher than this uh, resistance i'm sorry it's about 60 pips that's uh, what we can give there is no uh, uh, safer option than that 109.139 and our tech profit level tech profit level is going to be on 105.770 as uh, exactly the same thing from the usd cad always trade with the small lot sizes be extra wise and careful about your uh, investment uh, usd chf is very very similar to the usd gpy we can see that we're having right here a resistance level which was also a previous support therefore the usd chf is just falling down more down especially after breaking out from the support zone right here so after the breakout of this support the market is gonna make a small pullback retesting the level and then gonna continue falling all the way until it hit this previous support i mean the usdchf now is very uh, appealing for traders because it's very easy to predict how the market is gonna move therefore 
uh, the cell order is going to be placed on 0 0.95487. And the take profit level, take profit is on 0 0.93949. Of course, for the stop loss, I mean, it's not uh, hard to predict where the market is going to continue uh, rising if it go goes against you. You can close the trade with the loss in case you see any candle actually breaking out from this level on the previous support on 0 0.96062. Uh, I forgot to mention the stop loss. That's gonna be your stop loss, and hopefully it's gonna. I don't think I don't really think the market is gonna reach this uh, stop loss level. Most likely, the USDC shift is gonna continue sinking right away after hitting this previous resistance. That's what I'm expecting from the USDC shift, and hopefully it's gonna work out. Now let's move to the gold. Now you might notice right here that there is this long wick, and please ignore it. Uh, that is the glitch happened on the, on the brokers, the MetaTrader 4, and weird enough, uh, some uh, traders from IC markets are seeing this week here, some others they don't, therefore, uh, I believe it's just a glitch, and I already spoken to the support from IC markets, they apologize for that, and they are... Uh, uh, they know that this is just a glitch. It doesn't uh, exist. Here. It's not here. It's not counted. So we will not even consider this week here, this long tail. So what I'm expecting from the gold, that the gold is actually going to continue rising more up. And let's just make it short. That support right here is what we're going to rely on. Most likely the gold is going to continue falling more down after so many rejection, reje uh, rejections to break out from that resistance level most likely the gold might actually continue ranging on Monday and I believe by Tuesday or Wednesday the gold is gonna fall right now to this support level that is gonna be our best shot to start buying the gold keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance level right here so the gold is gonna be good for the buy you can start buying the gold on 1,595 exactly and you can keep your trade running all the way until it hit again that resistance level I will just select the highest point because exactly right here yes because most likely that is what, what, uh, what will gonna happen so the take profit is 1643.99 all right I hit that but it's okay uh, the stop loss now for the stop loss we can decide the stop loss for the gold in case we see the market actually continue falling more down and uh, not only falling down but we also we have to as I mentioned many times we must see a bearish breakout candle from the support from the support the whole idea about my stop loss uh, method is we are we should see a breakout candle indicating that the market is gonna continue falling more down if you just see any candle actually falling below the support that doesn't mean that the market has breaking out from the support you have to see the candle closed you have to see the candle how it will close at its expiration time on the four hour chart so you can decide that this candle uh, this candle is breakout candle now i have to close it with the loss so please don't rush at all please be wise and careful because look at that even this stop loss i have selected look at the left we can see that we're having also a support which was also previous resistance therefore gold is very uh, tough to trade right now be extra wise and careful how you are trading the gold and i really hope uh, it will go very well for everyone and to be honest with you i think the market is gonna be ranging here for some time i don't think it's gonna uh, go down immediately uh, these wicks or this price action we can see on the top and the bottom of the candles indicating a, a consolidation mode and the market right now is ranging on it anyway the market is about to open in a very few hours and I need to upload this video right now I really hope uh, this is gonna be very profitable and very good week for everyone in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching